Now what have you? All this smoke and despair. Nurse Witness, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a thirst you could photograph. Need a drink. Your mouth needs water. And now the real game kind of begins, with the platforming and the fighting and such. I've not actually done any platforming lately, other than I want to be the guy. So it should be nice to have some easy-ish platforming for a change. Not having to worry about spikes for once. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time, too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. That's a pretty cool character. I like him. I always found Alice's hair to be pretty impressive. That's like Tress Effects level of stuff. And with Alice, it makes sense for her hair to be nice. Whereas for Laura in Tomb Raider, being all dirty and going through mud and stuff, and still having perfect hair kind of makes no sense. You're part frog, Alice, I swear. You jump so well. I do jump pretty well, don't I? So there's just general weirdness going on. But all the levels in this game are pretty well varied. We have our first jump. We did it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to some easy platforming. <laughs> It'll be a nice change. Press A again while jumping to twirl. So double jump basically. And I think we can hover. I know it's gonna happen, I'm gonna miss a platform and I'm gonna feel stupid. <laughs> if you leap from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. But who doesn't leap from tables? I don't think there's any fall damage in this game, so that's cool. There are bouncy mushrooms though. And lots of collectibles. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. So I don't plan on getting all the collectibles or anything like that. I'm just gonna have a casual playthrough. I think we get an ability soon that lets us shrink down. That's how we can get into those keyholes. I think it's this potion right here, actually. Well, if you insist, I will drink this mysterious potion. I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? 
Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. It's probably just grape soda, right? My God, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost, but the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. I don't remember all the collectibles we can get. I don't remember if there's stuff that will like increase our health or anything. Look how small she's become, all curled up. She's barely there, a vixen in her hidey hole. But while we are tiny, we are also apparently drunk. And we can see clues and such. And, uh, the hell is that thing? It's pretty creepy, though. I don't want to look at it anymore. Apparently there's some sort of picnic basket in here. Wait, this is back here now, okay. I see no picnic basket. Unless... Wasn't there another keyhole? I thought there was another keyhole. Was that further down here somewhere? I've already forgotten. Normally there's clues that kind of point out where it is. I don't know. I'm not going to look for it too much. I feel robbed of a picnic basket though. Ah, there you are. I can't go first person here? Why not? This is like the area that you'd want to look around in. What? Let me go, flower. Oh, okay. I do remember teeth now. That's how you upgrade weapons and stuff. Lots of teeth in this game. And giant snails. <laughs> Weird. This game's neat though, it has a pretty distinct art style to it. Oh man. I wanna talk to the snail. I wanna see what the snail's up to. It's very fixated on something. Oh, this other snail, I guess. Romantic connection, perhaps. No, no. Snail drama. No time for that. We don't really have an objective just yet, I guess. Other than find out what's going on in Wonderland now. As we continue to escape reality. Bad guys get kitchen knives this way. <laughs> Giant hand. Okay. Um, blue mushroom. Oh, whoa, hey. Okay, all right, let's do this. Teeth slide. I don't remember if I had to collect every single tooth before. That seems like that would be a lot of work. Probably not, I doubt it. Definitely want to get the gold ones. The blinged out teeth are worth like five, I think. Oh no, snails! Oh no! Gold tooth! Get it, get it, get it! Yeah, there we go. Well, this got darker. Oh, there's blood everywhere. The slide was a trap. Never trust bling in Wonderland. Oh hey, we get our weapon now. From the carcass of whatever this thing was. The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. 
the Vorpal Blade. Swiftest damage. It's always good. Kinda looks cool too. Flight or fight implies a permanent choice, but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. Especially on Nightmare Mode, that's probably good advice. I think there's teeth in these things. Oh, what? Uh, I heard some rumbling. Hopefully I don't get just destroyed instantly in the combat, because I'm way out of practice. And maybe jumping right into nightmare mode wasn't the best of ideas. But we'll manage. Give me them teeth, though. Are you still looking? Do I have to go back there? Maybe. Nah, guess not. She's like, hey, this platform is rumbling. You might want to keep a close eye on it. I don't have any time for that. I'm moving ahead. This is where we do some fight. I don't remember how to dodge. That's going to be very useful information. I think that's its health up in the top left. Get cut. You're the first enemy. I can't let you hurt me. No, that's my health, actually. Never mind. Wait, what? No! I missed the... I missed the hint. I don't seem to be able to dodge, really. I'm just gonna keep cutting. You tell him, Alice. I'm gonna talk shit to you before I cut you up. Okay, well that went okay. Even though I missed. Uh, probably some useful information. Probably just about locking on, saying I can switch between enemies somehow. No dodge button though. Oh, here we go. I can dodge like this. Just magically turn into butterflies. I think from now on, enemies just kind of pop up. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. Oh, what? Come on. Yep, we know how to platform. This is the first jump that matters. If we screw this up, we'll die. But I think we'll be okay. Though at some point in this playthrough, probably early on, could be just a few minutes from now, I'm gonna screw up a jump. <laughs> it's okay, she's, she, she's butterflies. To be fair though, that tooth, that tooth kinda distracted me. Probably could have jumped again, too. Oh, well. Bottles are also some sort of collectible. I don't know what they do. I don't think they contribute to upgrades or anything. Wasn't worth the trouble of getting that, but oh well. I don't think there's any penalty for missing a jump. I still have all my health. Here we go. Don't dodge off the edge now. That air dodge. Okay. Now we know how to fight. As far as collectibles go, I'll probably get the ones that are in my path, but I'm not going to go searching for them. 